Welcome friends. I'm sure you are excited about learning about the lives of women in the Bible. Um so far we've uh, looked at the lives of Mary and Hannah and today I want to talk about the life of Deborah. Uh let's read from Ju- Judges 5 and 7 first. It says village life ceased it ceased in Israel until I Deborah arose arose a mother in Israel. So the picture that Deborah paints for us is that of a very courageous woman um a very bold and strong woman. So what do we see from her life example? You know she was obviously a woman of faith because she uh, stepped in at the word of God and did whatever it took to win victory for Israel against an oppressor uh and uh, we see that it really takes faith it really takes faith to to go into such a battle and deborah had that kind of faith so uh, she is a woman of faith who embraced her call as the scripture we read just now said deborah arose a mother in israel so it shows us that uh, she took her position she knew that god was using her and that, that god had Uh, a certain vision for her life as a prophetess and as a judge and she did not say no to god she stepped into that position whatever it looked like and of course in this case it's more like a leadership position and um, uh, she she said okay to god about that and she moved forward with the way god was directing her so that is one thing she embraced the call of god on her life we also see that she uh, arose which means that she did not hold back you know when um, god is leading us uh, in our lives there are times when we have to step up and um, step out and we just have to take courage you know there are leaps of faith that that we have to take uh, time and again and deborah was one such person who had the courage to rise up and uh, we can learn that from deborah's life you know there uh, sometimes we just have to stand out for god and do what he's calling us to do and don't don't say no to the call a uh, call of god and the purpose of god uh, just respond you know as per god's timing and the next thing is that she was also competent you know she was um the one instructing the commander of the armies at that time so one can only imagine uh, the kind of credibility that she had gained among the people uh, so she would have been consistent she would have um uh, been so committed to her purpose call um and, and you know she she was uh, someone who we could look up to and so uh, that is something we learn from deborah's life uh, and i want to add to that list that she was anointed you know as a prophetess uh, one needed to hear from god hear accurately imagine everything was at stake to uh, send out people into a battle but she was confident about what she heard and uh, she instructed people accordingly and so the result was a victory uh, and deliverance that the children of Israel received so you know Deborah is a great example of a leader and there is so much that we can uh, learn from her life and today I just want to encourage us um encourage especially the women no to rise up as courageous women and do what god has called you to do let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that lord um, you go before us father and lord uh, even as you lead us lord uh, father we believe that lord we will conquer our giants and lord that uh, uh, we will fulfill what you have called us to do father we we give you thanks and praise in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.